Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of a Royal British Review and yes, this is I, Michael Burhan. I'm here with uh, a nice little thing from Snakebite. They sent me a package today, basically a nice little package. So I thought I would give it a nice little review. These are the tough kits that they produce for the Nintendo Switch. It comes with a number of things including this snazzy tough case. Now I have this one for my Nintendo Switch which is currently docked because I'm playing Pokemon Go so I'm going to put that to one side and we are going to open a box and put this kit onto my nephew's Nintendo Switch which is actually underneath this one. It comes in a variety of colours, you've got the beautiful purple pinkish colour here and the black one which is the one that we're going to be using. So let's open this box up and show you what you have. Get that opened up. Okay, so let's bring that out. Make sure there's nothing else in there. There's nope, nothing else in there. So let's put that to one side. So you start off with your has a nice little plastic bag thingy over the top. Comes with a little card case for your games, so if you want to take the games portably. This comes with most snake bite kits, like anything that I've gotten from them in the past, usually includes this nice little handy kit. Let's put that onto one side. We've got the chamois that's going to be used to clean the switch. We got a black and red button for the controllers. Instructions, of course. So, like, don't take back to store, take it back to us. We also have the switch covers, which what this is is, is a screen protector. It's very handy. I've used these before. Uh, my when I first purchased the switch, I got one of these snake bite covers, and I've basically popped this on as a screen protector before. So we'll do it again, just to show you how easy it is. Okay, this is the Switch. This is my nephew Switch. As you can tell, he's been playing on it, so just wiping it down with the cloth. So there you go, nice and beautiful screen. There's no scratches and marks on it. So we first are gonna line this up. So let's do that. So we can pop that there, there you go. Line that up which is going to work like that and it tells us to pull pull it off from the side there so let's put that on and do it slowly there we go let's move them out we have to move all the air bubbles out of this so it clings on nicely there. Oh, still got one air bubble trapped at the bottom here. Get it out. It's, this is the hardest thing to do when it comes to fitting your switch is getting making sure that the screen is done properly and appropriately because if you don't get these air bubbles out you're going to have an issue or two with stuff like this because air bubbles are not your friend they are the most annoying little things on the planet. There we go. And that's done. That's a lot better. So, now we have the screen protector done. We now have to fit on the controllers. Now the controllers are pretty simple. Press the button at the back. And place each of these little uh, knobs onto each controller. Depends how you do it. You can put the red with the red and the black with the black with the blue. 
which is what I'm going to do here. My other one I've done rather easily. I did it the reverse way around because it's my switch. I can do what I want with it. There you go. That's the first one done. You can see it's done nicely. And pop that on there. Boom. Snazzy, right? So let's do the next one. Get that done. And then pop that on. And then we can put on the tough shell and I can talk to you about how durable it is. There you go. So that's done. Pop that on there and boom. So this does have a bit of an issue, the tough shell. It's durable, as you can tell. If you tend to drop your switch, I can guarantee you that it will protect it. But if you look at the notches over here, this side covers a big gap which traps the controllers in. So once it's in the tough case, it causes a bit of an issue because you can't take the controllers out. So if I try and press C, like it covers the buttons, you can't take it out of the case to put into handheld mode or to put into desktop mode or tabletop mode because the tough case covers the majority of it, if you can tell that one, it's not in properly, there you go. Um, other than that, it does work. You can open this up here from the side, put your game in. You've got your headphone ports. It has the vents. You have the on and off button. I can show you that that works. Then we've got Super Mario Odyssey in there, which I'm not going to play right now because I'll probably get this video copyrighted by Nintendo. Um, the volume control works and again very durable the screen protector is great the fact that you've got something to cover the joysticks because you need a, a grip pad for the joysticks because they will wear down eventually and they will wear your fingers down eventually so if you want to play this in with the dock you can't actually dock it with this unless you get a specialized dock to do so, um, which you can buy them, but you will have to take it off every time you want to dock the system, as you can tell. And it is a bit of a pain in the backside when you need to take it out so that you can play it in its dock or play it elsewhere. There you go, it's finally out. Now, let's talk about if it's worth the money. Currently priced at £4.59, pence, which is pretty good. It's basically the same price as a coffee. So you are basically purchasing a nice tough case that comes with other accessories as well. So you get your um, control sticks, You've got this nice covering here that allows you to clean your system so that you can play it and have no issues with it, of course. Um, you've got the tough case as well. And you've also have these awesome thumb sticks. And being valued at four pounds, 59 pence, and comes with a year warranty, it's, well, as I said, it's everything that it says on the tin. It's a good little tough case for your Switch. So if you take it on the go and you have various issues when it comes to um, dropping your Switch, which I don't, but if you do, and if you're a toilet gamer like myself, I do take my Switch in the toilet with me, it's a great move to actually purchase one of these um, just in case that you like drop it. As I said, the only big issue here is the the fact that it covers the portable Joy-Cons, so you have an issue with the Joy-Cons. This thing, you would have to take remove the entire case off in order for the Joy-Cons to be used for playing. Um, if you want to put it in tabletop or portable mode, again, you'll have to take the tough case off. Yeah, uh, what do I rate it, with one being the worst and five being the absolute best? I probably would give this a 3.5. It's a nice idea. But I think they should have looked at the portability of this as well. Like if they 
removed a few inches from the sides it could allow it to basically be played the fact that you have to keep taking it on and off just so that you can play your switch games is kind of a hindrance um, and probably will wear down the case and may do some damage to the switch in the long term but it's as I said it's a nice idea and it does come in a range of colors and at four pound fifty nine pence it's not really that bad like it's again the price of this is actually pretty unique for what you get out of it especially the fact that you get a good screen protector you get the nice cloth you get the the joysticks coverings and you also get the added bonus of the tough case so it does work well and you also get one year's warranty so if you like it give it a shout and as always this has been michael burhan for another rather british review and i promise ashens i'll stop stealing your bit uh just letting you know guys that i've got gameplay have you see you soon